Hey you guys. Hey everybody. Happy Tuesday. Um, I wanted to hop on and give you guys some tips on how to fill in the space between chords. So instead of just playing um, one chord and then the next chord and then one more, <coughs> kind of what to do. with leave me a thumbs up missy i missed you hey you guys hey sh uh i was gonna try to say your name shalay shalaysa Sh i can't see because of the casey hey casey okay so um the first song we're gonna do and you guys can pop song suggestions in the comments too if you want me to play them but the first song that we're going to do is King of Glory. And I'm going to play it. <coughs> I'm going to play it in C. Okay, so this is just playing the chords. the chord. So when you're on the one chord, instead of just playing the one, love, hey Tia, how's my friend doing? I'm going to play around it. around the chord that I was playing. <coughs> so um, that's a really good way to add stuff in between your chords to make your song really flow. Um, let's see, another thing you can do is roll your chords. So if we're doing a song like Great Are You Lord, I'm going to do this in A. It's your
playing the high register with. Um, it's the way that Instagram shows you on FaceTime. Not FaceTime. What am I trying to say? <laughs> um, when the camera is turned around, it's the way Instagram shows you. It shows you in reverse. So this is my right hand. his nose out the window um, you need to do it in rhythm because if you're playing if you're rolling a chord up and it's not in rhythm it's gonna sound really chunky and really messy so you want to make sure song. What about you deserve all the praise? Um, so the third thing that you can do is you can add walk up notes when you're going to another chord <coughs> and they can either be notes that are in the chord you're going to or are in the scale that you're playing in. So you kind of have to play that one by ear just depending on which chord you're going to. Um, so I'm going to play this in A. Of 
the cell. I'm in B flat now. is like 20 years old so um you could probably find it on facebook marketplace or offer up or something like that if you're looking for a keyboard i would actually recommend buying one second hand um to start with and make sure it has weighted keys okay so those three things are what you need to work on to um play in between chords so the first thing is playing around the chord like I did on King of Glory. Um, it was just the one chord all the way across and I was just kind of playing around it. Um, and then the second thing is to roll your chords. It's really gonna add a lot to your playing. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And you want to do that in rhythm. So make sure that you are practicing with some sort of metronome. Um, I recommend drum loops. <coughs> they make a huge difference in your playing. Guys, rhythm is the foundation to your playing. If you don't get rhythm, you don't play. Bottom line, period. Put a stamp on it, seal it, sign it, deliver it. Okay, done. Everybody got it? That's how important rhythm is. So if you're not practicing with some sort of beat, you won't get better. And um, it sounds like the silliest thing to say, and it sounds like, are you serious? Like, I just could learn, learn a fancier chord and be a p better piano player, but it's just not the case. And um, in teaching piano lessons for years and years and years, longer than some of you guys have been alive, um, that's the one thing that keeps coming back to all of the issues that have ever been come across when it comes to uh, musicians and piano players in particular is rhythm. So it makes such a huge difference um, because everything that I was playing there was nothing super fancy. Um, it wasn't anything that you can't learn, but it was all in rhythm. And so that's what makes all the difference. So roll your chords is the second thing. Third thing, add walk-up notes when you're going to another chord and you can find those by knowing your scale or knowing um, the notes of the chord that you're going to. So those two tips 
will get you some notes that you can use for your fill-ins. Um, I am doing, if you're interested, I'm doing a free class on Thursday um, about how to play any chord. There are two different sessions. There's one at 10 a.m. Pacific and one at 5 p.m. Pacific. You can sign up. It's completely free. Um, if you leave a comment, I can send you the link on Facebook. <coughs> I put a post out today with a link for both of those classes. You do have to register. <clears throat> you do have to sign up for the class, but it is completely free. Also, the best news of the week is that the Piano Players Inner Circle is open. If you don't know what that is, it's a piano coaching group. There are women um, in there. I did have a guy ask yesterday if he could join. It, it's You're more than welcome to join if you're a guy. <coughs> But um, it's just all women right now. It's a coaching group. We meet every week. And um, sometimes you guys play for me. Sometimes you guys ask questions. Sometimes I'm teaching you something. It's very interactive and very designed to see you guys win. It, you, any level, if you're at any level, you do kind of need to know the notes on the piano before you join um, the inner circle. But um, you can start at any level and see yourself grow and I um, love seeing the videos of the students in the inner circle and how much they have grown even since we just started in September so if you're really really serious about wanting to learn this year if that is your goal for 20 Pam Whitmire you signed up okay oh you're gonna make me cry you're always my favorite piano player I cry so easy. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm super excited about this coming year. And if 2020 is um, your year to start playing, if you really are serious about playing, sign up for the Inner Circle. You don't have anything to lose. Um, so, pianoplayersinnercircle.com. I love you guys. If nobody's told you today, hear it from me. I believe in you. I believe in you. You have what it takes to go to the next step. You already... Have everything that you need. Push aside the fear. Push aside the negative thoughts that are in your head. They're like, maybe I, I don't know if I can do it. You know, maybe I'll wait next time. Well, let me just tell you, the next time the doors open are in September. So if you're feeling that little push, go ahead and do it now. Just bite the bullet. Um, and I, I'm going to sign off. We have vocals practice tonight, so I've got to get ready to teach a couple songs. And I hope you guys have a great week. Talk to you later. Oh, hold on, I saw a question come in. What brand of keyboard do you recommend? I don't really recommend a brand. Um, I, If I was going to buy a new keyboard, I would buy a Nord, but you're looking at spending about $3,000. Um, I really would focus on finding something that has weighted keys, um, is a decent price, the sustain pedal works, and has a good piano sound. I wouldn't buy a keyboard without playing it first, um, honestly. When I go to Guitar Center or something to look at keyboards, a lot of this stuff is just junk to me. I just want something that has a good piano sound. Um, a fancier, more expensive keyboard isn't going to make you play better. <laughs> you got to practice for that. So um, that's what I would recommend. I would look on Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp if they're looking for a keyboard. Make sure it has weighted keys. I would get no less than, um, there's like a keyboard that has 77 keys. I would get no less than that. But that's what I would recommend if you're looking for a keyboard. <coughs> okay, guys, I'm going to stop talking because the longer I talk, the more I cough. So love you guys, and I will talk to you later.